Hi. In this section, we are going to talk about the 5G new radio in more detail. What are the different techniques that are being used in the 5G radio access network? We'll talk about that. There are a couple of topics we are going to cover in this particular section, starting with the 5G spectrum. What are the different frequency ranges that are defined for 5G? There is a wide range of spectrum frequency bands available for 5G technology as compared to any legacy technology. We'll talk about that. We'll look into how the frame structure looks like in 5G. There are there is much of similarity in width as compared to 4G, but there is more flexibility incorporated here so as to provide different kind of services relating to the higher speeds or low latencies. We'll look into what are the different kind of channels and signals primarily for initial access in case of radio access network. We'll look into the different kind of bandwidth paths that can be used in case of 5G so that a bigger chunks of frequency bands need not to be taken care of by the user devices and reduce or optimize their power consumption. We'll look into the resource grid, what are the different resource blocks and resource element allocations in case of 5G, how the modulation and coding schemes look like in case of 5G, we'll look into that in more detail. The orthogonal frequency division multiple access that we look into, which is used in 5G, we'll talk about that multiple access in more detail. We'll look into the different kind of duplex schemes, such as a frequency division duplex or a time division duplex. We'll talk about that in more detail as we go up higher in the frequency. We'll adopt the time division duplex and what are the different ways to use it in an efficient way. We'll talk about that. We'll look into the different kind of base station scheduler and how the resources can be allocated to the users in an efficient way. We'll look into the carrier aggregation, that is a way to improve the overall data throughput and the data rates by adding up different frequency bands, because as we know, the spectrum is quite a crucial and uh, one of the costliest asset, it is imperative to leverage certain kind of frequency bands, club them together and provide a better speed through carrier aggregation. We'll look into the different possibilities in this case for 5G. So let's get started.